Hey everybody, this is Kevin from 3D Printed Props again. This video we're going to be looking at another build in our Rustlord cosplay. This was a big one. This one we're going to be building the tactical shotgun from Fortnite. <laughs> Hey everybody, this was a fun one. This is huge. Uh, it had so many pieces and so many parts. This is, I didn't get, build this one. I actually built one, but it didn't come close to how really awesome this one looks. So I went ahead and used this one. And this is uh, over the uh, the 3D workbench. This is Yuri's. His link is, uh, his Patreon link is down below. If you are looking for amazing STL files, go to his page over on Patreon and you know uh patronize him or become no that's not right <laughs> become a patron and help him out uh and support him because it amazing files it's heavy it is huge it's very cartoonish like the fortnite gun itself and uh again a lot of different pieces parts so let's head over to the workbench and uh we'll take a look and see how we made this and again we made this with the uh, ZL Tech uh, filament, which of course there's a link below for a coupon code for that. And if you're interested in any of the items that I use to make this paint wise, head over to 3dprintedpropsgear.com. I, I feel like I want to say the, the, uh, the say hello to my little friend, but I'm going to, I'm going to resist. I'm going to, well, I guess I didn't. I just said it. Well, let's, let's have the master say it. Say hello to my little friend! Yes, that was nice. Let's head over to the workbench. All right, I actually have some footage of this on the print bed because I managed to fit a huge amount. Now, this is a lot of prints, and I think I filled that bed twice. So I zoomed way out so we can go ahead and show you the whole gun. And uh, again, this thing is gigantic. Uh, it was such a fun print. I, I should have recorded how much filament I used I'm thinking two and a half rolls but it's uh, I should have kept track but I didn't and then here's the fun part well actually no it's the worst part all these sandpaper grades starting at like a 60 or an 80 and then going all the way up to 400 Ugh, it took forever if you're going to do that much sanding or any sanding make sure you wear a mask because this is a little plastic dust now we're going to go ahead and start gluing this thing up and I'm using my accelerant which uh I ended up going through pretty much uh, all I had left on this to to get this stuff put all together. Because again, a lot of parts and a lot of surface area. And going back and, and, you know, the gun is very solid. It feels very solid. But I would probably saved all this super glue and actually went with epoxy. That would have taken a lot more time to dry. But at the same time, I think epoxy would have made it... Um, a little bit more solid don't get me wrong it doesn't move or shake or anything but it still epoxy i think would have been better now of course i'm going to do my fantastic bondoing and since these are flat surfaces i think i'm doing a fairly neat job here uh, i'm wearing gloves because this stuff gets sticky and gross now remember this stuff smells horribly now there are uh, different types of face masks and I believe they're called organic a face mask maybe that will weed out the stench the smell of this stuff it is incredibly bad um, so you might want to wear those if you're really sensitive to smell uh, I don't but uh, I have all the windows open because again this stuff is horribly smelly All right, now it's time to do some reference looking. And of course I have, after sanding everything, I have primed it all up and we had a nice day. So I've got it out on the benches here, these little pieces of plywood that I have on my garbage cans. And oh, there's the silencer. And we're gonna go ahead and start to prime them. Now, here's a little mistake I made. I should have glued this piece on to that piece so that I could go ahead and make it all nice one seamless piece. So I did that and uh, glued it on and had to resand it and stuff, but it looked fine, it's good. And now I'm taping things off here, kind of half building it so I know where the lines go. And these are for some of the more detailed lines, little pinstriping. And I'm just using the blue painter's tape and sort of mapping out where it is on the reference. The reference is over to the side. And this way, when I paint it up, we're not gonna sort of get a crazy print. 
take your time with this look at your design uh, look at the references because uh, this is where I make the mistake sometimes I think I'm supposed to have something glued I'm not or uh, taped I'm not and then I gotta go back so always look at your reference you know it's the same uh, same old thing uh, measure twice cut once all right and now the fun part let's start taking off all that tape there's some you know mistakes I'll fix but other than uh, those a few little paint blobs very happy with this you can start seeing that sort of stripe that's on the on the reference coming out and a lot of tape because this is huge and yeah really happy with that I think the red's a good match uh, the chrome is a good match plus we're gonna be weathering it up and making it all dirty looking and uh, now let's look at the instructions Yuri did a great job with these I mean easily you look at this you put it together no problem and here in the video I just used super glue to put the trigger on I would go with epoxy uh, that popped off multiple times so I went ahead and used uh, epoxy and it has not come out since and again we're just gluing things up we're using our accelerant again to glue this silver part on to the base I would probably go with epoxy again uh, it's solid but uh, I can tell that if I really manhandled it that top part might pop off and now we're just gluing things up you know looking at the reference making sure things are going where they're supposed to go this took a little bit a little forcing to get on and then I put some tape to hold it on uh, I actually had some clamps on it but uh, I, I don't know I think I deleted that footage and you can see here I'm adding way too much super glue because it's just not sticking finally did again I probably should have used epoxy now we'll do some detail work here and get some of the little pieces parts to uh, put on these are those cool little sort of angle iron uh, metal work that's sort of bent up and holding this gun together because these guys are out in the field beating it up and having fun with it I don't know if it's fun but uh, <laughs> I have fun playing the game and now we're gonna glue on all of those little doodads the technical term for gun stuff and there we go that's up at top and now and now that big barrel goes on that sort of big barrel cuff and now we're gonna put the little monitor together and I was gonna go all out with this one and really sort of like use an LED and put it in here so it so it lit up and put a switch but I kind of ran out of steam with it and it's something I could always pop off and you know do it another uh, a later date I did repaint that green because it just does not uh, it didn't come out that well and there we go the back part is finished and now it's time to work on the few more of the little angle irons we need to put on and those sort of just popped into place really well I used way too much of that stuff I wonder why I'm out and why I always run out it's because I use too much now this one here it didn't fit in very well so I used a heat gun a little bit and got it soft and literally just formed it into place it, now it looks like it's part of it again drop some glue on that and it is and too much spray again <laughs> it's ready to go now it's time to actually put on the um, monitor you might have saw it in that last clip some of these went out, out of order a little bit and just that I had forgotten to put that little clip on and now we're gonna put this tube in and this tube is part of the monitor and it goes in one part goes in that little area there and again accelerant to hold it in place and then the monitor comes over on this side and I sort of just held it there as best I could with my thumb and was able to again use the accelerant to do more it popped off a couple times and this is another thing that I ended up going with epoxy on because it's just such a small area surface area the epoxy really helped and now we put these little clips on here and these are again all 3d printed uh, every piece on here is 3d printed uh, so Yuri did an amazing job with the detail and the tolerances everything fits together so well it is just an incredible print okay now we're just adding some silver to this area and I am just brushing in um, rub and buff because it really coats it nicely uh, one coat other than just using an acrylic which takes quite a while and we're gonna seal this off with uh, some some a clear matte finish anyway so there we go that thing looks sharp he did such an amazing job with his design very very pleased with it and now we get to do the fun part we've made it look all nice now let's make it look all dirty 
So again, I've got a paper plate over there, a chip brush, and I am just souping on, and some water, of course. I'm just souping on a bunch of browns and blacks to really get in the creases and crevices. Now, of course, the grip you would think would be super dirty, so we're definitely gonna hit that. Wherever there's a crack where dust would settle and dirt would settle, we're gonna get that. I'm just sort of mixing up some more paint because I realized I did not have enough because <laughs> this was huge. I've never weathered anything so big. So here we go. We're just gonna go ahead and soup this up. Remember, one part, uh, you know, Science won't part art here. I guess it relates technically no science unless you consider mixing paint and water science But you want to wipe on a lot and take off a little because if you take off a lot then it will look just normal and uh, Just go over it and go over it again wipe it mat it with a towel and make sure you hit the cracks And that's it and this one took a while because again, it is a huge huge print And there we have it. I'm just adding some more extra, you know, this is almost just paint now. You know, I usually mix it with water so that it'll really stick because I don't want it to look watered down. I want the black to be really standing out. And again, I'm hitting it in the cracks and crevices to where, you know, your hands would be and where it would be. And of course, if you want to wear gloves when you're doing this, go ahead because your hands get filthy. Now, again, the black areas, uh, it's hard to see the wear, the paint, you don't see it, but you want to make sure you do it so it loses that shine and it still has a little bit of a texture to it. And there it is. Well, there we go. That was all the steps to putting this together. Now, I got to tell you, this was a fun build. It printed up really well. Uh, I didn't have any problem. Uh, Yuri talks about the support she needed and whatnot. The paint scheme really came out well. I love that red color. Um, the only tricky thing was, it wasn't his fault. I printed this back piece and I lost it twice. I don't know how. <laughs> I had to reprint it again multiple times. So that was pretty funny. Uh, the other thing is I used super glue and I probably should have used epoxy. It is very sturdy, but um, I think epoxy with how many pieces parts there and how big they are, probably would have been better. So if I had to do it again, I'd put it on with epoxy. I actually have had to put, I had to redo the trigger mechanism piece here because that popped off and I put epoxy on it and now it doesn't, it doesn't budge. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this build. We are coming along with our Rust Lord build. We've got a few more sort of uh, accoutrement as they say. I don't think, you know, there's many uh, people who would say accoutrement, but I love that word. And uh, we will uh, we'll be showing more of these videos as the weeks come. So please like and subscribe. Hit that little bell to find out uh, instantly when we have a new video up. I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, my throat's getting a little dry. I need some coffee. 
I'll see you guys in another video. Thanks. Thank <laughs> you.